proprioception is body awareness. If your child has a poor sense of proprioception, they may exhibit some of these behaviors. They may prefer to always have their shoes off. They may walk on the balls of their feet. This is because it feels like they're walking on a pillow when they have shoes on or when the balls of their feet and the heels of their feet are level to the floor. Your child may chew on their clothes all of the time or chew different objects. That's because we get a lot of proprioception input through our jawbone. It's very calming and organizing to the brain. Your child may do a lot of roughhousing with other children and that's because they don't have a good sense of how much force they are exerting with their arms and their legs. So they tend to play too roughly. They tend to handle things too roughly. This can impact their school day during a writing assignment. They may apply too much or too little pressure to their writing utensil during recess. They may play too roughly with their classmates and have trouble socializing or playing in sports. While in the classroom, they may have challenges navigating around their classmates, the classroom furniture, book bags that may be on the floor. You need a good sense of body awareness to do all of these things. Some things that you can do to help to improve your child's sense of proprioception, which is body awareness, is to apply some form of weight or pressure. I like to use a lot of things that you don't necessarily have to run out and purchase. A lot of times I will tell my parents, start by putting a bottle of water in your child's book bag or a heavy book to add some weight to their book bag and that will give them a better sense of body awareness. Prior to a writing or a fine motor activity, have them engage in some heavy work activities with their hands. They can cut cardstock paper they can use a hole puncher. You probably have that at home. If you have an old tennis ball, make it into a Pac-Man and have them pick up little beads with this. Have them knead some dough. I use TheraPutty a lot. I will hide coins in this. And I will do all of these things before my kids complete a writing assignment or keyboarding or zipping, buttoning. You can also provide them with a crunchy or chewy snack, something that really works the jawbone that provides a lot of deep pressure. Animal crackers, really hard pretzels, popcorn, bagels, baby carrots, anything that you could think of that's appropriate for your child have them eat that. If you're not opposed to them chewing gum, have them chew bubble gum during their homework assignment. One of the things that I do use a lot is a compression vest. And it doesn't have any weight, but just a compression vest. And I actually use a compression vest. I had my son wear one when he participated in a bike camp this summer. He actually, he has a very good sense of where his limbs are in space. He has a good sense of body awareness. He's a good swimmer. I used the compression vest to help with his anxiety because like I said, the added benefit of using weight or pressure is that it's very calming and relaxing to the brain and it really helped him i used it rather he used it 
every day during the camp. It was a five-day camp. These are some things that you can use that you probably already have at home that can improve your child's sense of proprioception.